Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Mass Effect 2 with the soldier character here. Before we get into this episode, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, let's get down to it. Last episode, we got Morden Solus recruited, so now we need to um, go and get the Archangel. We also recruited Zaid Masani, which he's just right out front of Omega, so. But here we go. Let's talk to Mr. Warden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. I love Morden. He's, he's so cool. Oh, we're gonna deal with some frickin' lag. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. Right? I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Okay. So we got Commander, you've received a new that message private terminal. Who now? Okay, Dr. Chalk was. Hey, I, I got a upgrade for you to look at in the um in the tech lab. It's for the med lab. If you want your face to look normal again, just come on by and uh, we'll surgically repair your face, but if you just keep a positive outlook, your face will heal naturally. But I'm going to get it anyway, because why not, you know? I'm going to have so many resources by the time I get done. It's not even funny anyway, so there we go. Med Bay is upgraded. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? 
That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. No messages for you, Commander. Okay. Zaid, we don't talk to. It's only Miranda we talk to. But we do need to talk to Dr. Chakwas. We got her uh, brandy that she was looking for. And we do need to go down to engineering. We do need to talk to uh, Donnelly and um, Daniels. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brand. Come on, quit fucking. You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. You know, Dr. Chalk was has got to be a freaking bad man. That's the whole reason you do that, is so you can get the metagel capacity upgrade. Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields. Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Yeah, another um, colony went missing. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. 
It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Oh shit! You know what I forgot? Anytime, Commander. You know what Commander. I forgot? What the can I do the for upgrades! You? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. I forgot about this. Take that. I totally forgot about that. You go around to everyone and you ask, you uh, investigate and ask them for upgrades. I totally forgot about that. It just hit me. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just do it right now after we get done talking to uh, Donnelly and Adams. Or Daniels, I mean, not Adams, Daniels. I just heard the collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit, we're going to make those dirty buggers pay. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all <laughs> friendly. Yeah, right. But we win. 500 credits. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'd want those two as my engineers. I and I would too, man. Zaid does not offer any upgrades to the Normandy until you do his quest. You really don't have to get the upgrades now. You can wait until you do the um, squad quests, but I just like to get them now, so then I just have them. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. There we go, we upgrade the armor. Um. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Why am I overloading here? Don't understand. I really don't understand. There we go. Okay. Okay, that should fix it. Of course, I say that, now I'm starting to get lag again. Shepard. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. Simple treatment would... No, 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 no. Would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. Anything else? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Is it... Yeah, it's prototype. Ford gets an Omni tool upgrade. There we go. Okay. Um, I sometimes you might hear a uh, gap in audio. No messages for you, Commander. It's because I gotta check OBS to make sure that um, the game is showing in OBS and shit like that. So, and being I only have one monitor, I kind of have to use Alt Tab to figure out if it's showing or not.
Okay, so I'm going to need to make a little side trip here in Omega. And it's more for, um, actually, well, we can pick the squad, can't we? I think so. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want. Okay. Up in. Give you a weapon damage, okay? And then for you, harder to kill. We'll do veteran for you. Okay. Barrier for you, okay. So now, I wanna. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. So, I do need, like I said, I need to make a little side trip so I can take a selfie. Damn it, would you stop fucking lagging? Well, that one might not be the best one. I should have probably done this last episode, but I didn't, because I forgot. Because I need screenshots for the thumbnails, is what I need. To talk to Grizz first. Aria has work for you. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Aria has in mind. Aria's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Why come to me? Aria's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Aria said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your food. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. First thing we're gonna do... We're gonna see if I can get a good... Yeah, here's where I wanna... Get my... Selfie. There we go. Okay.
Now we come down here to find Patriarch. He's all he's just down here. Um He is right over here. safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. And see who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Okay, so now we gotta find the assassins, and I don't know where to look. That's my problem. I've never done it this way before. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? We're gonna do something about it. Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant. I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. There we go. I've never done that before. Huh. Stop lagging. Care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Okay. So that was a first for me. Usually I tell um, Patriarch to go and kill the people themselves, but I took the Paragon path this time. So. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Hackett's veterans. Now we come back up here. Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? 
you're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help him. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help them. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Okay. Now I seen a torch to see a man. Oh no, it was another torch. We go out and we go to the area where they're fighting Archangel. to normal decontamination. Yeah, that's pretty much what Omega is. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. No, forgive me. I threw out my. I kind of pulled my back out a little bit. Um, I don't know what happened. I just it just happened. All right. So shields for you. So we'll make you a genius, and we'll get your incinerate up to two. Okay. They sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? 
A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. He'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds a bit like a suicide mission. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Okay. So the only reason oh, I brought Morden because I the area, but I'm unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Okay, so I brought Morden because there's some enemies that have armor, and his incinerate will just destroy the armor. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by... So pretty much, um, Jareth, the leader of the, um, Eclipse, is talking to Tarek. And he wants to take out, um... He wants to take out Arya, so we gotta give that to Arya. After we're done here, but if we come in here, here's where the heavy mech is. We'll hack this too for some free credits. Okay. Okay. That should slow him down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. If we want that done. That'll make things easier. Let me take a look around here. There we go. I pass this door. There we go. And all that just for some credits and meta gel. I just want to see what's over here. Okay. Hopefully that makes my back feel better. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? 
The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight. Where a go? Check. Bravo team. Go, go, go. Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Okay, we need shotguns here. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Incoming. Angel. Hey. Nice shot. Shepard. Look who it is. Keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing Mercs is hard work, especially on my own. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. <laughs> Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But... It works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. Oh, you and me both, Garrus. You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got.
spot you're at. Let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Damn right. <laughs> see, me and Garrus are pretty good shots. Get him with a headshot. There we go. Nice job. That all of them? Looks like that's all of them. Come find me before they regroup. Take the battle rifle. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Yeah. What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Miranda, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Good guy. I always forget which way to go. It always confuses me. We do need to stop off here. Well, I thought it was here, but apparently it's not. I thought there was one. I guess not. Oh, there is one. Okay. So we need to change the rifle to you.
There we go. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. Okay. Okay. Sealing them. We're working on it, Garris. We're working on it. The other one isn't as bad. You gotta watch out for the um for the pyros. Yeah, see? That's what you gotta watch out for. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Idiot. There we go. Get back here, Shepard. Coming in through the door. Uh, Rip them to shreds. Nice shot. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Shepard, quit being stupid! Bastard, get! Take the foot locker! Regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortress showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. 
not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure. Get to the stairs. Her ass. This is how you take the son of a bitch out. Here we go. There we go. Bastard. We need to get him out of here. Yeah, you got that right, Miranda. All right, we leveled up because of that. Corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but. Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. All right. Well, we're going to do some upgrading. 
Add a gel for the trauma module. Hey. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term, no. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Right? Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. There's a lot riding on this. But we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You out. Low from the red finch. Um. Finch is like, oh, you turn, you are a traitor to us, but I'm glad you're on this deal of the human colonies missing. This is the guy, this John Whit Whitson, he's the guy that we stopped in Afterlife from, um, from, um, joining up with the Mercs. Um, here's Daniel, he's saying, oh, everything's quiet here in the Omega Clinic. 
And then for some reason we got this message from Dr. Jock was again, oh, come on down and um, let me heal your face. Or if you think positively, your face will heal, heal naturally. And if you think negatively, your, heal, your scars won't heal. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Now we just come down here, talk to Miranda and Garrus. And I think I'll need another selfie. Photo mode, um... Yeah. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to do it this way. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Oh, guy. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Get the cannon upgrade. Okay. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. So, now we're ready to move on. We're going to do Zaid's quest since we're in the neighborhood. A 
bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. We do need to go to Omega real quick. So we can drop off that data pad. The Aria. We're going to bring Garrus out just to, um, get him set up. Okay. Weapons and power. Health and power. We'll do health and power for Mr. Garrus. Do your concussive shot so we can get your overload unlocked. Thematic for you. This raider for you. Okay. <laughs> That's another reason why we brought Garrus. To get that little Come on, let me in. comeback, you know. that was after our game. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice you. In the meantime? You look like you need to lose something. Okay. So because of that, now we get to deal with some smuggle cargo. But I don't think we're gonna deal with it yet. I think we're gonna wait until um, we get some more powerful weapons. Yes! 
movie. I don't know why I'm yawning. I slept all night. And I slept good, too. Let me see here. Oh, Zaid's over here. I thought it was in the Omega Nebula. Apparently it's not. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just go into his uh, star system and search everything there and then we'll help him. I love this freaking mod right here. I love it. Probe away. Damn right. Boy, the planet. Oh, there it is. Damn. So worth putting this mod in. So worth it. I don't have to search all over the planet. I don't have to use a shit ton of freaking um, probes. It's just so nice. Probe away. And it's called One Probe. That's what it's called. One Probe. Okay. So now we'll land here on Zoria. And we will see about helping Zaid here. Miranda for her weapon damage boost. Get concussive shot just so we can unlock disruptor for Zaid. Oh, my back's starting to feel better. Maybe I was just a tad dehydrated. Who knows? Traffic in a blue sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Oh, we will. Give me a minute here, Zaid. We're gonna... There. Oh, we just go down that way. Fuck. Push your head. Okay. I can find him. <laughs> right there. Sit down. Got his ass. Oh, that was pretty. Okay. 
Okay, let's clear. Got your ass. <laughs> we'll take that for the free credits. Wait, I haven't found any ammo. I need to find some before I move on. There's well, there's some. I think there is a mod where you don't even need to collect ammo anymore, but no, I'm not gonna get that one because that one's too cheap, you know. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Right? Squad Charlie, Delta, that's at the gatehouse! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Oh, shit. Opening the gate. Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill you. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? 
I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Oh, shit. There we go. Fucking lag. Probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Okay, so it's been a while since I've gone this way, so... So kind of bear with me here. Um... Guy. Well, like I said, just kind of forgive me here, everyone. Let's. Usually, I take the renegade path, but. There we go. This might be useful. That's what we're looking for, the firestorm. Another salvage. There it is.
Gotta be this door. Okay. Okay, this one you gotta kind of be careful of because of the shotgun wielding, um, Turians. We just did. <laughs> the, yeah, that's why I said you got to be careful here. You got to be careful here. They'll just gang up on you. Okay, I don't think there's anything in these doors, but we'll have to see. Nothing. Alright. I do want to check those other doors, because you never know there's, um... There could be hidden upgrades you don't know. We got some good credits out of that, I'll tell you that. And this, I believe, is the end of it. Yep, it is. Bitch. 
You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you're burning it. Yeah, screw you. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around, let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, so we got Zaid's loyalty done. We didn't kill Vito, but hey, we still got his loyalty because we were charismatic enough to get it, you know. you've received a new message at your private terminal yeah oh here's one of Garrus's friends just take care of Garrus my husband was on his team and Garrus didn't talk about how bad things were so just keep an eye on him it's pretty much what she's saying earlier when we spoke you were very open with me I like that but I hope I didn't come across as too flirty I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. We're gonna check the upgrades here. Heavy weapon. For the cane. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to have to call it for this video. Because I'm getting to the point I need something to eat. So, hope you all had fun this episode. I sure did. And I'll see you all in the next episode.